Um, and so I work for Dentist by Design. We have um, several different dental practices uh, around Denver and Colorado Springs. Um, I was with Google Plus, and one of the things we talked about was um, just the engagement in Google Plus um, and the local business pages. So if you had a local business page, which drives Google Maps and your reviews and everything, you automatically got a Google Plus page. Um, so the biggest thing that we're finding that people are being engaged with on Google Plus right now are the reviews. So if you had a local business page, you now have a Google Plus page where your reviews are. So that would be, if you're looking for a way to start with Google Plus and engage with people, make sure you update it, make sure you get it to where it needs to be and respond to those reviews via Google Plus because then you will get those people to follow you and your content that you're putting out on social media. And we talked about mobile apps and um, specifically we talked about mobile, mo creating a mobile app versus a mobile optimized site. Creating a mobile app, it could be it's could be a lot more expensive, uh, you know, in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Plus, your clients have to go to that extra step of either going to the uh, to the app store or to Google Play to download it, register, all that kind of good stuff. So basically, what we talked about is, hey, look at your target market when you're thinking about creating a mobile app or creating a mobile optimized site. Are they going to be using it regularly? Is it something that uh, you know they could really take advantage of? Or, you know, hey, if they're, they're on their smartphone and you have a mobile optimized site, you know, is that going to be the better play for you? So that's what we talked about. At the YouTube group, um, I was so delighted. It was such a relevant topic for me. I just finished my first promotional video and I was petrified because I hadn't optimized the video the way that it should be. And what I learned is that um, rather than use the transcript feature of YouTube, which automatically transcribes your video, you can turn that off and create your own transcription in the description. So there doesn't seem to be a character limit in the description of your video, and that would be a way to optimize your own video if you haven't, you know, if you weren't educated before. I was in the Pinterest group, and with that, my, our tip that we came up with, or that we use, is um, you can actually have put videos on Pinterest and have like a section we do this day of service where we go out and volunteer and so we shoot video for that so it's e easy to link like all your videos together and you know so here's where you can go see all of our day of service videos and so you can kind of put them on one board in Pinterest. I was in the Facebook group and we wanted to kind of keep our tip around the videos and we found that if you upload your videos right to Facebook on your fan pages and have it under a landing tab, Facebook's algorithm likes that better and it will get shared more if you were to put your YouTube video in Facebook because they're trying to compete with Google. So. And then also if you have, they have now what's called pinning. So you can do a video introducing your brand about 30 seconds and pin it at the top of your business page or your fan page. So. Yeah. Thank you all very much.